It's your show. It's you and me. So you just take it away. All right. Um, to the camera. To the camera. To the people. Oh, you probably want to know who I am. Who are you? I'm Tanisha. Girl meets glass. I am a wine professor. I used to be a food and wine tour guide in the before times. <laughs> I am a vlogger because we're doing a video now. I also create content on social media. She's an all-around good time, ladies and gentlemen. And I like to drink with my friends. <laughs> so here's my friend, and we're going to drink. Well, we're going to taste. We're going to taste because it's the afternoon, and we have responsibilities, and we have things to do. Oh, they don't know what time it is. Okay, it well, could be 9 p.m. It's 9 um, p.m. The kids are asleep. I'm Sarah Donnelly. Oh, yes. I'm a comedian. I'm a Tanisha. 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 I better tell you your name right. Who? Who? <laughs> I'm Sarah Donnelly. I'm a comedian, one of Tanisha's friends, and I'm so happy to be here. And I brought this little baby dimmy bottle. That's perfect. To though. taste. That's so perfect. I think the name of this is going to be What's in the Bag? We don't have bags today. So <laughs> just know that it is a show about blind tasting. And the reason we blind taste, at least the reason I like to blind taste or blind taste my friends, is because. You think about wine and you're like, oh, I don't like this, or I really like this, or I don't like this. You don't know necessarily what you like, but if you taste it under these conditions, then, uh, I mean, for the holidays, all right? I wish more places did smaller bottles. Yes, me too. Especially now, some people, unfortunately, are drinking alone, or they're just sharing it with one other person. Like, now this is open. I feel obligated to drink You're going to have to drink all of that because I'm having a taste. So yeah. how does the blind test work? Explain to me. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to pour it in the glasses. Okay. You're going to smell, talk aromas. You're going to taste, talk flavors, and then see if you can guess what it is. If you can't, that's fine. That's not the most important oh, part. But I'm competitive. The most important part is what is you are win. smelling. <laughs> The most important part is what you're smelling. That way, since you don't know what it is, you get a real sense of, ah, okay, these are the smells that I like, and okay. these are the smells that I don't like. Same. Flavors I like, flavors I don't like. Okay, I'm ready. Got it? Got it? Let's start. Let's pour Number the first wine. We're doing, so we're doing, we're doing Tanisha's wine first, because she's the expert. Okay. I know what it is. Here we go. So it's um, not blind for me, but, you know, here we go. Okay. We've been under confinement. Don't look at my hands too tough. Okay, we want to zoom in. Okay, so do you smell first? What's with the swirl? So the swirl is the more air that comes in contact with the surface air of the wine, the more oxygen, the more aroma is released. Mm -hmm. So you can smell it better. Well, it smells good, first of all. Ooh, it smells like paint. Okay. I'm sorry, can you you can't smell that? Okay. Now I feel bad because she maybe opened a nice bottle. <laughs> or maybe. <laughs> um, okay, what do I smell? I smell wine. Um, okay. And there's nothing wine. wrong starting with that. Do you smell grapes? You smell grapes. Can I taste it? Because I feel like I do better if I taste before I smell. No, you gotta smell. Okay. Go, do this right. Okay. So think of large categories when you are thinking about your aromas. Okay. Fruit, spice. Herbs and vegetables, flowers. Fruit, spice, herbs and vegetables, flowers. Okay. Yes. Well, I definitely smell fruit. Okay. This is a fruity one. And so she said fruit. Now break it down from there. What kind of fruit? Is it a tree fruit? Is it berry fruit? It's a tree fruit. I think it's cherry. Okay. Cherry. All right. I smell cherry. Red cherry, black cherry. Ooh. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. But it's not, I know what it's not. It's not smoky. Okay. I don't smell any smoke. Do you smell spice? Um, and spice could be, I mean, salt is technically a spice. Can you get high off huffing wine? Because I feel lightheaded. Pepper, just like, uh, cinnamon, nutmeg, anise. Spices. I didn't get really formal, and I don't have, like, my tasting aroma wheel. I didn't, That's you know, okay. I just know my We're mouth. Keeping it cash. My mouth is watering, and I want to try it because I feel like my nose. I actually thought I had a really good nose, but um, because I have like really bad allergies, so everything I'm just like, I'm like someone's smoking, and then like you know two like, blocks away, they right. have a cigarette. I mean, this is France. They're it's like probably. they're in their apartment on the 17th floor. We're outside. I could, I smell. It just smells fruity, fruity kind of okay. light. Um, I do smell some spice though. You do smell some spice. Mm -hmm. Okay, well the professional spice. spice. What do you smell? Tell me. Smell a little spice. It smells a little peppery to me. 
you know? Okay. But wine is also I subjective. Am. As soon as someone says, like, well, you know what? I smell lemon. Yup, I do smell lemon. Like, no, there's no lemon in here. It's a red wine. Let so, me guess. Yes. It's not good to smell alcohol. If it just smells like straight up alcohol. Mm -hmm. You sometimes will smell alcohol. That's not the best thing. Because okay. sometimes that means it might not be very well balanced. Okay. Can I drink it now? Yes. Let's taste it. I want because to taste. also, like, they probably don't want to keep watching. Yes. Well, I'm going to edit out all the... I'm gonna add, I'm gonna slice and dice to make this good. Oh, she already drank. Okay. Oh, this is really good. This is. Oh my so god. Good. Oh, this is delicious. This is so good. Oh wow. Okay, hold on. Wait. It is like smooth, fruity. It just tastes like a sophisticated, like velvety. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of fruit in this. Yes. And I like that. I like fruit. I don't like sweet wines, but I like fruity wines. Right. And there's a difference. Some people, when they say sweet wine, they're like, oh, I don't really like sweet wine. And they usually mean sugar. But then you can also have something that's sweet, but more fruit forward. So think ripe fruit sweet, like a ripe peach or a ripe cherry, because that's sweet too. I feel like this, this is, is very fruity, very fruit forward, but then still sophisticated, very soft and smooth. I can taste a little bit of oak and a little bit of tannin, but it's very well balanced. Mm. It's not overpowering. Mm -mm. This is really nice. I would definitely want to have this with, for me, if I was like, is it a Pinot Noir? No. Okay. I just had to jump in. I was like, is it Pinot Noir? Because I love, I love Pinot Noir. I love fruity wine. This is like a wine I want to have with like a nice piece of duck, mm -hmm. like a seared duck or something. Um, this could also do like a steak tartare. Yes. I mean, I don't, I'm not the first one to want to ask for a steak tartare, but I feel like a I steak might be too much because with the, uh, the grill or like that kind of flavor from the steak, I think that might overpower this. No, but yeah. No, this is like a nice, like, nice. this is, this is a cute girl wine, like, but she's not trying too hard. She yes. knows she, she's like, she's putting a nice dress. She's going out. She's not thirsty. She's just like, I look good and I'm. I got it together. Yes. It's like us. In a wine. In a wine. I, Tanisha, I love this. This is delicious. We'll okay, to I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to take a guess because I know you also really like Cote de Rhone. I know Cote de Rhone is really fruity. But, um... And I know you love Grenache. Is it Grenache? She only guessed it. She came close because she knows me. It is from the Cote de Rhone region Ooh. from the Rhone Ooh. Valley South. She's a little... Know. But a little fancier than that. It's Chateau Neuf du Pop. <gasps> oh. So this particular one, Le Demoiselle de la Fond de Loup. So the ladies of something with the wolf. The front of the wolf. The ladies of the front of the loop. The fond, la la fond, la fond de loup. That means something else. I don't know what the fond Right. Is. Fond de loup. But I mean, okay. Well, we're probably going to edit this part out. I don't know. That's, <gasps> this is Chateau Neuf du Pop. So this very nice. Fancy. This is also, uh, this is a 2019 this is delicious. This is okay. really good. It is delicious now. Um, this is something you can probably even sit on for five years, ten years, if you could hold it. I, I cannot, as you see, we're drinking it. What is the price point for this wine? Uh, the price point for this? I'm not sure. You know, I don't you can't remember. remember how much you paid. Mm -hmm. This, so I, the only thing I know is the Chateau Neuf de Pape is like a thing. It means it's a nice wine coming from that region from the southern wrong yeah it's one of the most widely known aocs aops in the Rhone valley at least in the southern Rhone valley and it is one very well known for very sophisticated kind of very bold wines with the principal red grape being grenache so mm. let's see this blend, which i know tanisha really likes and i really too. like too 80 um, percent is yes grenache syrah 80 80 grenache 20 percent syrah ooh, i like syrah too the southern Rhone valley is closer to the south of france so the temperature is different so these grapes grow better when it's warmer mm. and usually when something is warmer you have a little more alcohol that grows naturally that just occurs naturally because they're like it's nice outside let's have a good time the grapes also get riper <laughs> yeah and the grapes just get riper the grapes get riper with more sunlight and yes. more warmth Whereas in more cooler temperatures, cold climate, then uh, you have a little bit more acidity. I didn't know that changed the alcohol, con alcohol content. Yeah. This was 
so good. I also feel like you poured it and I kind of smelled it immediately, so I didn't give it a chance to get some air really flowing. But mm -hmm. is, was I right to say there's cherry? Cherries yeah, yeah. and fruits? Yeah, you can definitely get cherry here. Ooh, that nice. was delicious. Okay. I can't wait to finish oh, this. Oh my god. Okay. Now my wine, I'm not even sure this is a demi bouteille. This is, might even be like a two glass That's situation. Right. Well, oh look, we have two glasses. We have two glasses. So uh, this is a screw top wine. Because it's small. Because they know like you're serving that to share. So Serving to share. And show you on the left. Why is it bubbled? Oh, okay. Oh, is it sparkling? Is it natural? Uh, no. Oh, I like that sound. Oh, that's a lot. Hold on. I forgot what we were doing for a second. <laughs> that is not a tasting pour. No, that's a pour that she would just pour me on a regular day. Okay, so I bought this wine at the grocery store. Oh. I got it at Marks and Spencer. I got it at the English grocery store, so. Okay. What does it smell? It's okay. You can say it smells like not good. No, it smells like, I mean, of course it smells like something, but something particular that I can't. Okay, hold on. Sorry, that's not a terrible editing. I will edit it. That's not awful. awful. I just edit all of this out and just replace us with like two models or something. You're like, can we edit just, this and just have voiceover? It. We need to. Where's our team to fix the hair and makeup? Right, makeup. Edouard, Edouard, right, we need you. My nose is shiny. Okay. So I get fruit. I don't get spice on this. Is that the wine or is that your glass? Why is that fizzing? What is that? Oh, that's. No, that that's the wine, because I'm like, this is this too. Is this natural? It's not natural. I don't think it's natural. But it's it's off. There's something wrong with this wine. I want you to try it, because I'm like, it kind of, okay, for real, for real, for real. Okay. It kind of smells like an eraser. <laughs> like, you know, after you, like, oh my God, your really paper, does. it smells like it an eraser. It smells like wood. Uh, so a pencil. It smells like a pencil. It's a pencil. So it smells like grammar school. Okay, let's try it. Let's see how it is. Superstar real deal. This is like so janky. <laughs> this is so wrong. But I was really, I was really curious, and that's why I thought it'd be fun to do a blind test. Did you? It's a de-alcoholized Merlot. They're all, they're all sulfites in it. It says the alcohol has been removed from this red by a gentle process, which retains the vibrant Merlot character. Okay. And it is a two. Because it is grapey. It is grapey. Hold on, let's take. Yeah, it. so. It's but it does taste more, so the smell, it doesn't really smell that good. No. To be honest. Yeah, the smell is a little, is it glass? Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, it tastes like a dry grape juice, which mm -hmm. I guess is what wine technically is. Mm -hmm. So it's not really fair to like compare this to that, but. Oh no, so this wasn't a comparative. No, no, no. We'll this do comparative another time because I mean this would win anyway. This is so good. But I was really curious and I wanted to try and I just thought it'd be fun. It's kind of like it was a wine prank. <laughs> but what do you think about, I mean, it is after we've had that, but what do you think about this little wine? That, if you if you have a problem with alcohol, you can't drink alcohol, you don't want to drink alcohol, this is a perfectly fine um, beverage. I actually sure. find it um, pretty inoffensive. Yeah, it, it's very pleasant. And also, since it comes in a bottle, you just feel better than just like, oh, let me have some grape juice. Well, you can just say this is Merlot. Here's the thing. There is um, some sugar in here, but it doesn't taste that sweet. And I have two kids, so when I was pregnant, you get you don't want to have juice. Yeah. I'm not a big juice person. Okay. So for me to have like a juice or a soda when everyone else is drinking, it's kind of like, ugh. So to have something that tastes dry, mm -hmm. like I really drink a lot of alcohol-free beer. Not a lot, but, you know, I would have one in the course of it. So this would be actually interesting. But I just thought, why not? Alcohol-free. Okay, let's have another glass of this. This one can go on the garbage. That's oh, rich garbage. garbage it. No, we don't need to take it. But this, I will take a little. So cheers. Cheers. 
to amazing one and figuring out what was under the sheets in the bag <laughs> what was in the under bag the covers what was under the covers this one she can just go back it's like right. santa claus it's, it's just a lie know. it's a lie <laughs> <laughs> you think it's magical it's not this one's demure she's got like a little black dress because she's french let's just leave her dress up leave her yeah, so, so you all can take care of it let her come all the way off i'm gonna drink this and i'm gonna go pick up my kids <laughs> good thing we have to wear a mask to block the alcohol oh, breath oh but it's just you know a taste it's fine well thank you so much tanisha for having me thank and you. playing along with my little prank wine yes and thank you for blind tasting this one Look what, what a good so friend like a very, she is. This is a very special episode of this In the Bag. Nice. Next time we'll be in a bag. We'll do it in a bag. We'll do it in a bag, and I won't bring I some weirdo. Um, no, that was, that was fun, though. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, <laughs> that was Thanks, fun. That was fun. Thank you, and thank you all. You can find me at Girl Meets Glass on all social media. And you can find me at Sarah D. Comedy on all social media.